<laughs> Hello everybody, it's me O'Neal. I'm on my computer again and I wanted to do something really quick. I wanted to create a pad in FL Studio and for those of you that don't know what a pad is, a pad is basically an instrument that allows you to sustain notes for a really long time and sometimes it sounds really airy. I'm really going for a very um, spacey, um, minimal ambient sound and um, I wanted to show you how I'm going to do that in FL Studio. So let's go to my computer. So what I did is I opened up a great um, one of the synthesizers that I use all the time called Harmless and uh, what I did is basically I, I have it basically on it's totally initialized I haven't done anything to it so I'm gonna basically gonna create this pad so what I'm gonna do is first is I'm, I'm, I don't like that attack so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn down the attack so it's just kinda sneaking in Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the higher frequencies because I, I definitely don't want it to be that bright. Perfect, we're almost there. Now I'm going to uh, add some unison or I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a chorus effect. Basically what chorusing is, is basically where you add uh, so, um, some more than one um, instances of the instrument coming in. So I'm going to increase that to about four and you can hear that also the the panning has allowed for this sound to go all the way around um, the panning so it makes for a very great sound that way I'm also gonna even add a little bit more of a chorus effect just to be extra now I'm gonna add that vibrato that I was gonna add earlier just to give it a little bit more depth And now I'm gonna add reverb, but I'm not gonna add reverb in the plugin. I'm gonna add it um, in this channel that I prepared. I don't want the reverb that is in this plugin to be disconnected from the rest of the reverb. So I'm going to just add it here. I'm just gonna put it in channel eight, and then I'm just gonna sneak in that reverb there. And it's already turned down a bit, so I'm gonna turn it to my liking. I think this is a little bit too much, so I'm just gonna turn it down over here. Uh, let's see. Yeah. And I think we have our pad. Let's hear it. I'm just going to go into the piano roll. Let's hear it. Mm, I think it could still be a little bit less bright. Yes. Now, um, still a little bit too much reverb, so I'm just going to take that down. Now if I turn it down, I'm going to turn it down in the mix so I can see if, how it really sounds. That's very nice. It almost feels thick and bloody to me. Um, bloody in a good way. It's very thick and almost um, uh, not like molasses, more like uh, watered down honey. I like that. So now we have our pad. Let's put it in there and see how it sounds. This is gonna come out great. Maybe I should show you guys this when it's done. Anyway, that's the end of this tutorial, but please comment and let me know what you think of the pad. And also subscribe to this channel because this is the place where we think deeply so that we create art that changes the world. I'm O'Neill Gerald, and I'll see you later. Bye, everyone.